It's Christmas. Just kidding. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reverse a string in JavaScript as part of the advent calendar, 24 days of JavaScript miss from Scrimba. All right, you can see I've got the red and green lights on. It's the start of December. It's cold outside. It's like 35 degrees right now in Memphis, which is super cool. I love wearing sweaters and hoodies and these kind of clothes. So it's really nice and I'm excited. Hopefully you're excited for the holidays and you're excited also to learn a good amount of JavaScript. So I wanna start by saying that this video is actually sponsored by Scrimba, who's been a sponsor of videos in the past. And we talked about their uh, Scrimba web developer career path. We've talked about some of the other free courses that they have. And now I wanna tell you about the 24 days of hashtag JavaScriptmas challenge that they have going on, which is an advent calendar of JavaScript challenges. So you have the ability to enter to win uh, multiple things each day during uh, December 1st through the 24th or through the 23rd, including inclusive of the 23rd. Uh, Scrum is going to choose one person randomly on Twitter who submits their challenge, who submits the solution to the challenge and give them a free year of the Scrum platform. Now, again, I've talked about them in the past. Free year of the Scrum platform is a lot of content and it's very well structured to get you through all the things that you need to know to become a web developer. So check that out. And then also... Uh, on December 24th, they're going to pick a grand prize winner from all the different solutions that have been submitted and give away $1,000 of uh, cash and then also a lifetime subscription to Scrumbo. So these are all uh, benefits of participating in this challenge in addition to the fact of like, hey, just get better at JavaScript, which I think is a pretty handy one as well. A lot of people ask, how do I get better at JavaScript? Well, here's here's a great example. Start with this and see how you do. So what you'll do is you'll get um, you'll get a, a challenge sent to you every day from the 1st to the 23rd, and you'll go through and you'll solve it. So link below to actually sign up for the advent calendar 24 days of JavaScriptmas. You can sign up with that link below. And then also a link below to this specific challenge, which is the reverse a string challenge. Now, this is a pretty common one. This is something that you'll see a lot of times. This is a great beginner JavaScript challenge that will be really useful, and you might have this in an interview just because you've seen it uh, or I've seen it be in interviews enough times. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through a couple of different ways to solve this and then I'm gonna optimize this in a few different ways to show you a lot of different things about JavaScript as we go. So we've got a little bit of a test down here. Uh, you don't really have to know how testing is set up necessarily. Really what it's just checking is if you start off with this hello string and then you reverse it and grab the result, uh, you can do an assert down here in your testing library which says, hey, I expect this result to now be hello instead of, and actually that should not be hello, that should be O-L-L-E-H. And by the way, when you work in here, notice it says that I've got a, a note say, or a note, an unsaved note. So this is what you're gonna submit as part of your challenge. You complete the challenge by writing your code inside of Scrimba, and then you'll submit that right here. So we've got our test set up. We know it should equal this in the end. Now we can actually go and work on this. So. Uh, the one, the first thing I would do is is probably the simplest, uh, using a for loop and then using what's called the accumulator pattern. And so I would create a uh, a new variable called like reversed str, and uh, just start that off as an empty string. And then what I want to do is iterate through the characters in the string, and then uh, put them on in a different order to the new string as I build it up. So what I mean is I will do a regular for loop here. So i equals zero. I less than str dot length. So you can kind of treat strings just like you would arrays in terms of iterating through them to get a reference to each character. And then an I plus plus. And what I'll do here is I want to take each letter and I don't just want to add it on to the end of the reverse string. I actually want to add it on to the beginning. So what I'll say is I'll take my reverse string and then I will uh, do equals. And then I'll say, I'm going to add on the new, the current character str of I and then I'm gonna add on whatever else the string was. So I'll take the reverse string. So again, what I'm saying here is I'm gonna take the reverse string, which starts out as, no as nothing. I'm gonna add on the current character before it so that it's kind of reversing all the way back, if that makes sense. And at the end of this, I will return the reversed string. Now let's just see if that, uh, if that works. So we can uh, do a refresh here and try to run this. And uh, this can't be a constant variable. I do this a lot, sorry about that. Const versus let, const you can't reassign the variable, which we would be doing here. So we'll use a let instead since we will reassign it. And let's try to run it again. And it looks like that passes, cool. So that works. Now we could do this uh, maybe a little bit uh, different of a way. We could use a for of loop. So we could do a let uh, character of string. 
So instead of doing a regular for loop, we could do a for let of. So we grab each character in the string. And then we do the same kind of thing. We just replace string or str of i uh, with our character and do it that way. So this should do the exact same thing. Now this for loop syntax is a little bit um, a little bit simpler instead of typing out an entire for loop. Now what this does, this iterates through each item, whatever the item is, in an array. So it kind of looks as a, at a string as an array. All right, so that works. And uh, what we can do is we can comment this out and look at another solution where we can use, and they give you the hints in here, of using the join, split, and reverse. And so a string does not have a reverse function uh, attached to it. So you can't take a string and then just call reverse. That's why we're building this function. You can do that with an array. So if you have an array of one, two, three, you can call reverse on an array and it will actually reverse that thing for you, which is pretty neat. So what we can do is we can convert this string to an array and then use that array to reverse it and then convert that back to a string. And the way this will work is you'll do a string dot split and a string dot split will take each character um, based on some delimiter or splitter of some sort. And it will con basically convert a string to an array based on that delimiter. So if we were to do a space and the string was, let's give an example of A, A, B, C, that would then convert to uh, the array of A, B, C. Notice the space is gone because we split based on that space. If this was a pipe instead of a space like this, that would actually do the same thing. So it's gonna remove that pipe and then split the string based on that and then put those split splitted thingies into an array is what that will do. So since we are not expecting any spaces in the string, we can uh, just do a split based on nothing. So it'll take each character and put it into an array. So that will give us an array. And then because that thing is an array, we can now call the reverse function on the array. And then now that we have a reversed array, we can call a dot join and this will do the opposite of the split where it'll take every item in an array and then convert that to a string. And we can just return this thing like that. So this is a pretty neat way to use some useful array functions here to split it into an array, to reverse it uh, as an array, and then join that thing back to a string. And now if we run, we should see the exact same thing. So this obviously is a little more uh, concise than what's up here. And I wanna take this one step further, just in case you're curious, you can use arrow functions here. So if we say const reverse as string, equals and then we say uh so that kind of arrow function there where we've got our arrow here and then our opening brackets we can get rid of all of this and uh, we can have this but arrow functions actually let you do a, an implicit return so if you don't do brackets here uh we get rid of those brackets and then we get rid of the return we can actually put this all on one line. Now this is maybe not what you want to do, just kind of showing you what you can do uh, using arrow functions. You can kind of simplify that process to have this be basically a one liner. So I'm gonna copy this and then go back to uh, what we had here and then just paste this in as an additional one if you wanted to check it out. So anyway, a couple of different ways that you could reverse a string, show you how to do basic for loop, show you how to do a for let of loop, uh, to iterate through each character in a string. And then you can kind of put some cool functions together to split it, to reverse it, and then join it back together as a string. Hope you're having a merry JavaScript miss. Hope you enjoyed the challenge. I will have at least one more on uh, YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for that. If you enjoy this channel, uh, subscribe, comment, like it. Uh, let me know what you enjoyed and what you would want to see more of in the spirit of the holidays. Anyways, thanks as always for uh, checking out the video. Make sure to check out the 24 days of JavaScript miss with the link below uh, in the description. And uh, thanks again. I'll catch you later. And Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.